welcome back. I'm Lauren and today I'm going to be going through my go-to essential de-stressors. Often when we're stressed, it may be because our needs are not being met. Whether that's our basic needs, psychological needs, or our self-fulfillment needs. This concept of three primary needs comes from Maslow's hierarchy of needs, which I'll link down below. We will start with our basic needs, which are physiological and our need to feel secure. So let's begin with our environment. When I feel stressed, a lot of the time it's due to what is going on around me. Try limiting your screen time, taking a break from the TV or from your phone, dim the lights, maybe turn off all the overhead lights, just lamps. Reduce sound, whether you have music playing in the background, either turn it off or turn it down way low to reduce stimuli. And lastly, take about 10 minutes to declutter your space. Put on your timer, put a few dishes away, put the pillows back on the couch, fold that blanket. Just do a couple things that will make you feel like you're not just trapped in all the clutter. Our other basic needs are what we consume. A lot of times we can nip stress in the bud when we eat healthy food, whenever we we drink a glass of water. Sometimes we get so busy in our day-to-day -day lives that we forget even our basic needs. Maybe your brain is just firing because you haven't drank enough water today or you haven't eaten food that's going to nourish you and feed your cells. You can make some tea, some relaxing tea, herbal tea without caffeine, like chamomile or mint tea or dandelion root tea. Those are some of my favorites. And another thing you can consume, not by ingesting, but consuming through your mind is reading. Unlike flipping through your phone or watching a show on Netflix, reading a book will let you have that escape without the screen time. Next, we'll move on to the more physical aspect and meeting our need to feel accomplished. Here are some things to apply. Try taking a bath. Add some essential oils, maybe you have some Epsom salts. A few essential oils that are really good for de-stressing are lavender, sandalwood, patchouli, but you can use anything that you enjoy and that relaxes you. Just add a couple drops to the bath and enjoy that time of being cozy and warm. Speaking of essential oils, a lot of the time I'll take a carrier oil like jojoba or coconut oil or another oil I have around the house and I'll rub it on either the bottom of my feet or on my belly. I'll actually take some magnesium as well. That was the other thing I was going to say is magnesium is really good for calming the body. It's best absorbed by the body when it is applied topically. So that's a little helpful hint for magnesium. Next, we activate our minds by moving our body. You can do this by going on a nice walk outside, getting some fresh air, walking your dog if you have a dog, but getting out and just moving our body by going on a light walk can really help relieve stress. As well as doing a gentle stretch or some yoga or as I like to call it dance yoga nothing too structured or organized unless it's what you're looking for but I like to just roll out my mat do some stretches and move around intuitively what does my body feel like what feels good what doesn't and last try meditating there's all kinds of apps that you can use to help you and to help guide you through meditation like Headspace or Calm. I use both of those. Or just focus on your breath. Close your eyes, sit still, and focus on your breath, where it comes from and where it goes. Last, our self-fulfillment needs must be met. Self-actualization, achieving our full potential. We need to express, whether it's by painting or coloring. I have an adult coloring book, which I absolutely love. I color in mandolin and it's so calming for me. Or journaling. You can either write down all the thoughts that come to your head or you can just write down three things you're grateful for. Getting some thoughts out pen to paper is an easy way to express yourself. I know a couple of you were really interested in what I got the other day when I went to Jerry's Artorama, which is just down the street. It's an art supply store. Because I've been wanting to get into painting this year, I did some painting at the end of last year and I really enjoyed it and I found that it really does calm me down. So I thought I would show you a a couple of the supplies that I got the other day. So disclaimer, I really don't know anything about painting yet. Um, I don't really know what any of the names are for these things, but when I was looking through, somebody in the store was helping me, so she was kind of guiding me through what I needed to get. But I got this brush and 
this brush, and this brush, and this brush. So I got like four things that I felt like used, typically used for different purposes. So I got those. By the way, this is like what I keep my stuff in, which is kind of cute. I had this lying around actually. I got four colors, um, acrylic paints. I learned that acrylic is what I should be using since I'm a beginner painter. And I got just a few colors because honestly, paints are a lot more expensive than I thought. Taupe color, this cream color, white, and like a light pink nude. I got the palette like thing and I got two of each size that I thought felt right for me. So I got this size with things 11 by 14. I got this one six by 12 and then the smallest size which is this guy five by seven. And then I got something to paint on. So actually that's over here. I have this guy. I could just set him up on my table and Put one of these guys on here, and then I'm good to go. Doesn't look so good? I'm really excited. So yeah, that's what I got the other day at the art supply store. Well, that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this was helpful. Subscribe if you want to join this fam. Click the bell to be notified when there's a new video. Like this video if you liked it. Comment below what you'd like to see next. And until next time, bye.